In this Gold is Money series, we dive into how the US money system moved away from its basis in precious metals and how this transition has impacted and may impact in the future the dollar. Episode 4 The Dollar's Destiny What's in store for the US dollar? High inflation or even hyperinflation? Let's dive into what these are and whether they're likely to occur for the US dollar. Hyperinflation is defined by a rapid increase of prices across the board. A 50 or more percent increase per month is considered hyperinflation. Examples of 21st century hyperinflation include Zimbabwe and Venezuela. In the 20th century, Austria, China, Hungary, Weimar Germany, Greece, and many other nations experienced hyperinflation. Financial devastation too often results from hyperinflation. George J.W. Goodman recounts in his book Paper Money a situation that occurred in Weimar, Germany. A man had a 20-year insurance policy, but when he cashed out, it ended up only buying him a loaf of bread. Amid hyperinflation, gold and silver retained their value. Silver expert David Morgan explains that in the Venezuelan hyperinflation, having silver was an advantage. If you look at what happened in even recent history, if you have silver in Venezuela, you were at, at an advantage to someone that didn't. You could buy food. You could buy it everywhere and instantly and like, you, like it was, there wasn't a crisis. No, but it gave you a lot more ability to buy than someone that didn't have it. Could the U.S. suffer hyperinflation? The U.S. has seen its money supply increase dramatically in the last decade or so. But this by itself does not predict hyperinflation. Hyperinflation normally occurs alongside two circumstances. A nation experiences supply shortages, often from the result of a war, and the nation has obligations in a foreign currency. Supply shocks cause prices to rise, and having obligations in a foreign currency leads a nation to print money to pay for its domestic expenses because its tax revenue is being used to pay off its debts. The bottom line is, it is not clear that the US is in this situation, and therefore will suffer hyperinflation anytime soon. And although the money supply has increased significantly in the last decade, and especially since the COVID-19 pandemic, the velocity of money has decreased over the same time periods. Without high money velocity, that is, without money moving fast through the economy, it is hard to have high inflation. Therefore, it is unclear whether we are going to even see high inflation anytime soon. But looking from a long-term perspective, the dollar has been on a downward trajectory and losing value. So what's the dollar's destiny? It looks like continued devaluation is almost inevitable. And if money velocity increases, then high inflation is also on the table. Throughout this series, we have seen how the US started using gold and silver as money. But as time went on, America eventually moved completely away from precious metals and to a purely fiat currency system. Throughout history, fiat currency systems have often resulted in devaluation of the currency and sometimes hyperinflation. Gold is a far more stable currency that does not lend itself to devaluation by governments. Often, when governments move away from gold, people end up moving back to gold because the common man knows gold is money. Throughout history, Elijah, when people lose confidence in governments and in money, they've always bought gold and silver. Now, the politicians will say, ah, don't bother with academics tell you don't bother with gold and silver that's absurd might be maybe they're right but all of us peasants I'm an old peasant and all of us peasants know that when things go wrong we want to have a little gold in our pocket so I continue to buy gold and silver and will continue to because I'm an old peasant <laughs>